So the next person I want to address is Miss Sydney Starr. And it's really funny because Sydney and I have actually became kind of close after the show, even before the show. So it's kind of annoying that we weren't that close on the actual show. And that all led from her getting a fake relationship with Natalie about halfway through the show. So back in Miami when we did the reveal of the cast, which was back in January, and a few things that happened. For one, Sydney told us like I get I have like more strength than most females and of course she wasn't born a woman and she said that all of her backlash on Love and Hip Hop that she would not fight a female because of all the backlash on Love and Hip Hop. She says that on Natalie's live and then Natalie then switches the end of the video like Sydney I'm gonna put my hands on you I'm gonna this that and the other. We then ride with production after doing the reveal of the cast. It was me, Judy, and Sydney in the production van. And I pulled Sydney aside at the time. Now and I were cool, but you know, I have a big heart and I care for people. So I told Sydney, I said, Sydney, you should never say something like that. She's like, what do you mean? I said, don't tell Natalie you're not gonna put your hands on anybody because now she's gonna play it against you. Just like she did on live, trying to embarrass you, talking about she's gonna put her hands on you because she feels you're not going to fight back. Like, I don't agree with that. Before coming onto the show, when she was telling me that Sydney was cast, that it was all a setup against Judy. Like she knew that Sydney had beef with Judy. She also told me more than once, like Sarah, call Sydney out for being a man, call her out for having a penis. And I'm like, what does that have to do with me? Like, I don't care about all that stuff. Like this has nothing to do with me. And she kept insisting and I'm like, if you believe all that, then say it yourself. I don't think like that, nor would I say that to somebody. Like I have a lot of gay friends. The LGBTQ community has stood by me for years, especially from season 11 when I got jumped over and over in the house. I've had so many messages from, it's mainly um, boys, but so gay boys, I would say high school, middle school ranks, and they said, Sarah, like you were such a light to me because so many people were picking on me and I saw you in the house and that you could stand up to a whole bunch of people in the house and get jumped by five people and say, I'm not going anywhere. That gave me the confidence to stand up and not be bullied. So for her to try to tell me like, call Sydney a man, mention Sydney has a penis, it's absolutely disgusting because like, what are you even doing? Like, no, if you wanna think and say that, then say it yourself. Like, I'm not going to say that. Like, I love all my gay people, so you got me all the way messed up. And I'm not going to release the whole audio because it gets quite bad. And I actually do really like Sydney, me and her are cool. Every time she calls me, she calls me for something. So I joke with her and I'm like, hey, Miss Star, what do you need? Hey, Miss Star. And even in a couple episodes, she mentions like how her and Natalie are good friends. And I said, Sydney, I've been friends with you. She was like, yeah, you've been friends with me longer. And I said, exactly. And I looked out for you longer. Even though Natalie was my friend and we're getting money together, I still looked out for you. And I said, how does that make you look, Sydney? You're sitting here going against me who's had your back because now you're friends with Natalie. Like, okay, that's just what people do. But anyways, here's a little snippet of the audio because I'm telling you, it's absolutely disgusting, everything that she said about Sydney. And I really don't want her feelings to be hurt that bad, but I'm going to expose you just a little bit. Oh, by the way, this outfit's super cute. I got a lot of sun at the pool yesterday. I'm not really burnt burnt, but I did get a lot of sun. Isn't this a super cute outfit? All right, hope you enjoy the audio. What are you guys doing with Sydney? Trash. <laughs> Natalie picked her. That's the first one out the door. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> That's why I'm just letting everybody just have their moment for a second. It's almost over. We're like three episodes away. When you or anyone, Natalie, Sarah, Christina, whoever, offends a community of people, at some point you have to take accountability. Wait a minute, don't, let me finish. Okay. You have to take accountability for what you say. You have to take accountability for what you say. You have to take accountability for what you say. You have to take accountability for what you say. Natalie 
That's why I'm just letting everybody just have their moment for a second. It's almost over. We're like three episodes away. You have to take accountability for what you said.